According to the U.S. State Department, citizens may seek a second passport, but that is usually limited to cases in which certain visas or stamps in a passport would prohibit entry to another country, or when a primary passport is held up by visa delays when immediate travel is required. People who may require a secondary passport, according to the State Department, include international flight staff, international journalists and executives of multinational companies. The matter was raised after it was revealed that Paul Manafort, President Donald Trump's former campaign chairman, held three valid U.S. passports, according to court documents released this week. The first primary passport is valid for 10 years, while a secondary passport is only valid for up to four years. You can get a secondary passport if certain stamps in your passport would prevent you from entering another country. For example, passport stamps from Israel may prompt countries like Iran and Syria, which don't have diplomatic relations with Israel, to deny a traveler's entry. If you don't qualify for a second passport and don't hold citizenship in another country, some countries may grant citizenship or passports to wealthy foreigners. The U.S. also has a pathway to citizenship for wealthy investors. Foreigners who invest a minimum of $500,000, and promise to create at least 10 jobs, are eligible for the EB-5 program that often leads to permanent residency and eventual citizenship. The future of the EB-5 is uncertain though as it has only been extended until December 8, when the legal framework supporting it set to expire. A bipartisan bill has also been drafted calling for the program to end. The program came under scrutiny earlier this year after it was revealed that Nicole Meyer, the sister of senior White House aide Jared Kushner, who is the son-in-law of President Donald Trump, name-dropped Kushner while giving a presentation to Chinese investors.